Hello everyone, even though I've got a horrible cold, so please excuse my voice, I wanted to show you really quickly how to do masking with stamps. I've had a lot of people who've bought this um, two hip set from the shop ask me, how do you get the little hat on the hippo and the little things and all the accessories? Well, the best way to do it is masking. It means that you can stamp the image all in one go and you're not cutting out little fiddly hats to try and stick onto the hippo. But I am going to show it to you today with the Mr Octopus set simply because I have been playing with masking with this set for a while and I've already got a whole bunch of masks cut out and ready to use. And I want to show you how to do it and it's really, really easy. You can use a masking film, which is great, but if you want to have a go at this right now, what you have in your house that will do the job, probably, like me, is post-it notes. So uh, depending on the size of the stamp and, you know, what you've got on hand, you might need the larger or the small post-it notes could do the job. So, for example, a small image like the mug, you just stamp it onto the sticky end. So make sure you find the sticky end because you want that temporary adhesive that post-it does so well and you stamp onto here cut it out very carefully with the mug you can even cut out that little bit inside the handle there and keep them on the back of your stamp sheet and that means that you've got them all the time and you can use them over and over again what we're going to do is create a little three-dimensional thing. So we're going to put something behind something behind something. And today we're going to make our little octopus with a laptop sitting behind him and a mug sitting behind the laptop. And this is how we're going to do it. You want to stamp the image that's in the foreground of your picture first. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm using Memento ink because I'm stamping on Express It blending card today because I'm going to Copic color these images. So I'm going to ink up Mr. Octopus looking all very efficient and accounting like and I'm going to stamp him down first because we want him in the front of our picture. What I'm going to do is take the mask that I've cut out. When you're cutting these masks be careful to cut on the outside of the stamping line because we want it to cover up the entire stamp and take care when you're sticking it down as well so that it covers the whole thing. You could just use a regular piece of paper, but it can shift and you're not going to get that proper effect. Next stamp we're going to use is our laptop. And we're going to make the laptop look like it's sitting behind Mr. Octopus by stamping over the image. And even though I've stamped over this mask, it doesn't matter. I can still use it again. It's not a problem. When we peel off, ta-da! One laptop sitting in behind Mr. Octopus. Isn't that cool? And the last image I'm going to put down is the coffee mug. In order to make the coffee mug look like it's sitting behind Mr. Octopus, I need to put the mask back on again. I ink up my stamp. Pop that over here <clears throat> and of course when it peels off it looks like Mr Octopus's hand is over the front of the mug. You could even go further and put another layer in behind. So I'm actually going to put something in behind the laptop by masking that laptop off. And let's put up a, let's make it look like he's hiding a sneaky little treat there. We'll pop a donut in behind the the laptop like it's sitting in there and then we peel that off and voila so now we have this layered picture if by any chance it gets it's a little bit you've missed a section or you've played up with I hope you can see that see the the line of the laptop doesn't quite meet Mr Octopus you could take a multi-liner and draw that in but since it's quite close enough for my liking I'm actually going to leave it 
my last job here is going to be to color this image in and i'm going to use that on a card with some of the cool uh, sentiments from the mr octopus set um, i might even pop a little greeting on the screen there and see how i go so i'll put a finished picture of the card up at the end of the video this was masking i hope that you'll give it a go particularly if you are wanting to layer up your stamps if you are looking for sweet stamp shop sets in australia you can pick them up at my store dawnlewis.com.au there is a new release coming out on monday uh, 2nd of june very excited to show you that one it's really really cool i do have mr octopus in stock right now and i do have two hip in stock as well so if you're looking for either of those you can get them now and the post on these is really really cheap i think it's like 70 cents for me to send it to you anywhere in australia um and that's about it if you have a go please i would love to see what you're doing come over to the facebook page if you want to see more videos you can subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll be doing a lot more stamping and general crafting videos as well lots of hints and tips and projects uh, occasionally i have kits and things like that as well and if you um, are interested in joining a swap or just you know finding out when there's new stock in the store you can go to the website and sign up for my newsletter and you'll get all the latest stuff so thanks so much i hope you'll have a go and i'll see you later bye